What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are back with some more NCAA 06 Gremlin State Dynasty. Season number three is coming to an end. All right, we're going to be wrapping up the last three games right here, right now. I have a feeling if we win out, we can make it to a bowl game, and I feel like that will win our job back because it is bowl or bust this season. They've been thinking about letting your boy go, and if we don't get to a bowl game, they might just do that. So we are ranked number 95, taking on ECU. They're ranked number 87. They got a guy back there, number five. That's Chris Johnson. He's pretty fast, but I think we might be able to contain him because he's not as fast as what he maybe should have been. Anyway, second down to five. They're going to run the ball with him again, and that's going to result in a fresh set of ten. They're going to pitch it to him this Time little halfback pass didn't have time to get that pass off from the halfback. Third down and 16. They're gonna throw that thing to the flat caught by CJ, but that's nowhere close to the first down mark, and we're gonna take over. Brian Brooks gonna roll to the left side, still rolling. Now he sets his feet, throws it, caught by Richards. Move those chains. Now we're gonna roll right. Little option play. And the ball gets batted around, hits the ground, but we are there for the recovery. Third down and 11. Brooks under some pressure. Rolls right, throws it deep, and that pass will be broken up. So ECU's going to take back over Ryan Wiltshire under some pressure. Throws it to Jones, who makes the catch, and that will result in a gain of nine for David Jones. Looking downfield is... Ryan Wiltshire going to throw it to David Jones again, makes the catch, and this time they get to the Tigers' 26-yard line. Our formation toss play, and the Tigers' defense is able to corral Chris Johnson after a game of six. Second down and four, we send a blitz, it forces a bad pass, and Lawson is there for the interception. So just like that, we get the football right back. Jay Glover showing off his hands, diving reception there. Brooks looking downfield, going to slide right, throw it back to left, caught by Bush. And we get close to the first down mark. We need four more yards. And we fumble the football. Bush picks it up trying to make something out of nothing. Chicken salad and chicken crap. And nothing comes of it. Looking downfield. Brooks. He decides to keep it. Brooks going to cross midfield in the enemy territory. And gets out of bounds at the ECU 39-yard line. Brooks going to roll to the left side. And he rolls right into a sack. Third down and 18. Brooks dropping way back. Throws it. Little screen pass to Bush, and Lim Bush had three blockers in front of him, and we couldn't do a darn thing with only one ECU defender out there. Chris Johnson, he's loose to the 40, to the 50, caught by Pete Williams, forced out of bounds by Simpson. That's going to be a first down up to the 41 yard line, and then he throws it to Lawson again. He's playing catch with our middle linebacker. That's good for us, but bad for them. From the 50-yard line, it's first down and 10. Bush going to try to get loose. Spin move, then a juke move, and then he works his way upfield past the 35 to the 34-yard line. Looking downfield, that pass going to be caught by Wagner, and that's going to take us to the second quarter of play. So it's going to be second down and two now. Bush going to keep it, and he keeps it just to get laid down. Third down, three yards to go. Brooks fires it. That pass a little bit too far out in front of Harris. Fourth and three. We're going to go for it. Brooks looking downfield. Drops it off to Bush out of the backfield who makes the catch and has a first down on fourth and three. Now rolling out is Brooks looking downfield and Richards makes the catch. Touchdown, Gremlin State. And just like that, it is 7 0 good guys on top. They throw this one into a crowd and that pass will be broken up by McFarlane on third down. And we take over. The Tigers are out of the gun, looking to throw this one deep, and that pass will be complete to Matt Harris. Hauls that one in for a first down in ECU territory. That pass caught by Bush, chopped down before he can get the first down. Third down and one, going to run the option. Brooks is going to keep it. He's loose to the 20. He's going to get chased down from, from behind by Calhoun. And Calhoun might have saved a touchdown right there. Going to find Bush again out of the backfield. And that's his third catch today. Now Brooks weaving through. Traffic has a first down as we get inside the two. Going up that gut with Bush. And Lynn Bush is in the end zone. And Gramlin State is now up by two possessions. So second quarter still, second down and four. Johnson gets the carry, and Johnson picks up a nice run. Got some good blocking downfield, and they get to the 38-yard line. Ryan Wiltshire throws it. That pass caught by Jones. Breaks one tackle. Got away from one man, but not the next man, as Pete Williams is there for the stop. Merritt, he hauls that one in, and that's going to be a first down. From the 37-yard line, Scott Phillips is in the ball game. Wiltshire is not hurt, but they like to use two quarterbacks from time to time, and it results in a fumble. It was a good pass. 
but the receiver form of the football, we recover. So looking now, Fielders Brooks has a man open. That's Jay Glover, crosses the 50, spin move at the 41-yard line, and it is a first down. Nice play, nice call. Looking for Bobarto inside the 10. He goes, and we are too hot to handle right now. There are no other mix on the football field as we score yet another touchdown. So Wiltshire back in the ball game. Gives it to Chris Johnson, who finds a lane. Running with some power behind those pads. He's going to pick up a first down. Now it's third down and six, and we get in there with the sack. And that is basically going to bring this half to an end. But three seconds to call a timeout. Scott Phillips back on the field. Going to heave this one. He's not. He ran out of time. He tried to heave it deep. But, yeah, we got to him, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So 21 nothing. We get the football first in the second half. Throwing this one deep, and that pass falls incomplete. Got to send out the punt team. And the punt's going to be not the greatest. He's going to get this one around the 45, but Chris Johnson drops it, and Barbarto is there for the recovery. So we take over from the 46. Brooks has the football, pitches it to Bush. Bush down that left sideline with a fresh set of 10. This ECU defense, not the greatest in the country, but they are better against the run than what they've showed so far today as Calhoun's a monster. Seven tackles, one sack so far that he is their leading tackler this season. Bush to the right side, makes one guy miss. Decent run after the catch, but we're not going to have the first down. So fourth and nine, we're going to go for it. Brooks looks for Jay Glover, who does make the catch, but the route was just shy of the first down marker. So ECU would take over just to give it right back. We gave it to them, and then they want to pay it for it. I'm not mad at you, Stones, with another interception this season. Bush to the right side, picks up eight yards. Second down and two, we give it to Bush. Got shut down in the backfield. No gain on that play. So Brooks rolling out. Man coverage, you know what that means. All the defenders have their back to the quarterback. He picks up the first down with ease from the eight-yard line. We throw it on second down, and we're going to find Jay Glover in the end zone. So they got David Jones back there to receive the kickoff. Breaks one tackle, gets away from another, up to the 40. And we're still not the fastest team in the country. And you can see it right there as he leaves everybody in his dust. So touchdown on the kicker turn. They finally get on the scoreboard. Looking down, Fielders Brooks throws it on the run to Richards. And that is a Dawkins dime as he gets this one inside the 45. Single back, look, little 12 personnel. Brooks going to pitch that thing with the Bush. Bush works his way upfield, and that's going to result in a first down. For the 33-yard line, get off of me, he says. To the 30, he goes. To the 25, he goes. All the way down to the 20 with a fresh set of 10. Now from the 17, second down and six. That pass caught by Wagner. A perfect pass as Brooks was getting hit. Our left tackle falls to the ground again in the pass rush. Forces maybe not the greatest pass. Arnold steps in front of it, and ECU will take over. So Chris Arnold gives the football right back to his quarterback. Scott Phillips back in the game. Throws it to Jones, and that's a pretty good pass to end the third quarter. So they're down big. Wiltshire back in the ball game. They're going to run it with, uh, with Chris Johnson, and Chris Johnson will pick up a first then. First and ten. Wiltshire steps up, throws it, caught. By McCargo, and McCargo is going to pick up not a darn thing. Johnson to the right side. Great play by Brown. Trevor Brown was being blocked. He shed the block and said, I'm going to tackle Chris Johnson. He did just that. That pass will fall incomplete. Big time play in the secondary. They're going to go for it on fourth and ten. Pete Williams best that thing away in our defense playing tough. We're going to get that thing to Eric Johnson. Makes one guy miss and brought down at the 30-yard line. Make it the 29. Third down and six. Brooks throws it on the run. Caught by Wagner. Gets away. He's up to the 45 and finally dragged down just shy of the 50. Now we're in enemy territory. Bush gets the carry. He finds the lane. The way that the O-line is just blocking and the way that Bush is setting up the blocks is just beautiful. He breaks the tackle in the backfield. Makes one guy miss in the open field and picks up nine yards. Second down and one. We break a tackle again. And we fall forward for another first down. So we're taking time off the clock, and we're marching closer and closer to the goal line as Brooks, he keeps it down to the four-yard line. Johnson weaving through traffic, gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Grambling State. It is 35-7. to Chris Johnson gets the carry again, gets away, breaks another tackle, and then he finally gets brought down by Weber. Our defensive end chases him down deep into the secondary. There he goes, Chris Johnson breaking tackles. Pete Williams is there to bring him down. But they do get to the red zone first, down and 10 from the 20. Up the gut. Gets shut down after a gain of eight. Can't really say he got shut down, but we stopped him from the first down. And now it's just, you know, 
delaying the inevitable, obviously. Now Phillips, he's in the ball game. He can run the option two, pitches it to Waters, and he's going to get into the end zone. They're going to go for the onside kick, and that's going to be all she wrote as we recover. So ECU, they come to Grandma State, and they lose. Now we had two recruits come to town for this game, and we got two recruits to sign. Our second quarterback has signed. The way that we throw the football is no surprise that quarterbacks want to play for Grandma State, despite the record and maybe despite the talent that we might be able to put around him. We also got a middle linebacker, which is a good look because Lawson, who balled out today, he is a senior, and you know what that means. You're done so after this. Our quarterback is top five when it comes to passing yards, and he's also leading the league, or leading the country, excuse me, in touchdowns on the ground for a quarterback. All right, so game number two, FIU, one of the higher-ranked teams we face today, and it is going to be one of our few games that is televised. The game day crew is there. So, Grandma State taking on the Panthers of FIU. Can we get the job done versus a team that's slightly better than us? They got two impact players at running back. You see Wilson right there, and then they got this man right here in Newton, and Newton can run the football very well. To the 30, to the 20, being chased from behind and dragged down by Jones, but it will be a first down inside the five. They throw it to Wilson in the flat, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's rough out there, okay? Trying to stop these guys will not be easy, but I believe we can do it. Bush to the right side. Nice game there. Second down and 10 now. Going to throw a screen pass that does not get to its target. And now Brian Brooks is shaking up. So Matt Thomas, who earned a scholarship earlier this year by playing fabulous in relief duty, has come back into the ball game and throws a football to Wagner that was put on a frozen rope. So Thomas out there doing his thing. Looking downfield. Thomas rolls to the right side, drops off to Barbarto, and that is a great decision right there by our quarterback. Third down and four. We're going to pitch that thing. Bush trying to get loose, and Bush will get down to the one. First and goal. Bush trying to turn the corner. Fumble! And the Panthers will recover. So we walk away with nothing to show for our efforts. Newton weaving through traffic using his speed, his quickness, his vision to get upfield for a first down. Newton going to find some running room again. Gets away from Pete. Finally gets dragged down from behind or from the front side by Jones. Could have been a lot worse than what it was. And there goes Brown who takes it to the crib. So this team right here could be very, very, very explosive, especially versus a defense that's not so good, all right? So Brooks going to drop back the pass, looking for Matt Harris. He makes the catch, and that will be a chain mover. Now Brooks looking downfield again for Matt Harris, and big Matthew coming through with another catch. Third down and four, can we extend the drive? Left tackle again, got demolished on that play, but Jay Glover hauls it in for a first down. Second down and eight now. Quick pass. That pass caught by Jay Glover. Again, move those chains. Now Brooks going to roll to the right side, and he's going to get smacked as he tried to let that one go. Big number 73. Ferguson, he is an absolute monster on the other side of the football. Third down and 13. Brooks going to roll to the right side, looking deep downfield for Miller, and that pass will be broken up. So they take back over. They're going to run that thing with Newton. And that's going to be Demarcus Newton's like 11th carry so far in the first half. And he's absolutely balling. Another carry right there. And Newton's going to have a first down. Second down and 10. Rowe throws that thing. And that pass caught by Patrick Brown who has a touchdown but goes basically nowhere on that wide receiver screen. So third down and 10. Now starting the second quarter. Rowe has it. Throws it to the sideline. Caught by Patrick Brown. Got both feet in bounds showing everybody that he is NFL ready. Demarcus Newton gets loose yet again, like when your grandma drinks gin and juice. That pass caught by Heath and Heath rumbling downfield, and that's going to be a first down. So first and goal from the 8-yard line. Get the ball to Wilson. The blocking was good. The missed tackle was ugly. It is a touchdown for the Panthers. So we're down by 21. Do we have some life left in this arm of our senior quarterback who fumbles? And that's another drive that will end with a fumble. Third down and four from the four. They can get a first down without getting a touchdown. And they are going to do the former. So second down and goal from the one yard line. They're gonna go up the gut, breaking the tackle is Wilson falling forward. Touchdown for Mark Wilson. And FIU is now up 28 to nothing over Grandland State. Brooks has the football, throws it to the left side, caught by Jay Glover, just shy of the first down, gain of nine. Now we're going to run the ball with Bush, Bush to the 30, Bush to the 35, to the 40, and drag down at the 44-yard line, big gain right there in the chain mover. Brooks rolling right, 
Buying some time for his receivers to get open, and Jay Glover does get open. It's going to be a first down move, those chains. First down of 15. Again, our left tackle needs help. He needs an advisor. He needs somebody to talk to because he just don't know what to do out there. Every single play is like he's getting demolished. Third down and forever, ever. Looking deep downfield for Richards. That pass is tipped and then intercepted by Birch. He's going down that left sideline. He crosses the 40 up to midfield and Brooks is there for the touchdown saving tackle. So Phil Birch gives his team the football right back. Heath open in the flat. Heath Loose down that left sideline, 10 5 high stepping like prime time. Touchdown for Dane Heath and touchdown for FIU. 35 point lead, and we're still in the first half. This thing is getting ugly and it's getting out of hand. But we do get a nice little chunk play. Tack on a 15 yard penalty at the end of that chunk play. So we go backwards in a major way on that last play. But Bush going to get all that back and then some. Gets away from three Panthers. How you like that, mama? Now, Johnson. To the right side. Nice run right there. Try to get away. Could not, but he does pick up a gain of nine. Brooks gets good protection. Throws it downfield. Caught by Jay Glover. Got met at the goal line with mean intentions. But sets up first and goal from the one. And Brooks will do the rest. And we are on the scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen. 35-7 to seven is the score in a game that could possibly steal our ticket to a bowl game if we win it. Brooks looking downfield. That pass caught by Wagner. Wagner, he gets out of bounds and has a first down. Now it's third down with three for five. Can make it four for six. Brooks throwing this one to Glover. Makes the catch. Gets away from the defender. Gets brought down after he has a first down. Mama, how you like that? Do you like it? I'm, I'm asking for a reason, Mama. Jay Glover makes the catch right there. That's going to be a first down. From the 22 now. They send a blitz. They hit my quarterback, but he throws a Dawkins dime. A marvelous missile. A perfect strike to Wagner, who gets into the end zone. So back-to-back -back drives that end with a touchdown defense. We are begging for a stop. Rowe fires that thing. Caught. It's going to be a first down and then some as they work their way in the Tigers territory. Newton up the gut gets dealt with. Lost of two. They give it to Newton again up the gut. More success on this run, but not a first down. Brought down by Strong. So third down and fourth from the 38. They're going to give it to the tailback for a third straight time. And he has the first down and then some. Pete Williams forces the fumble, but we can't recover it. So we had our golden ticket. Willie Wonka. And we could not get... To the factory on time, meaning we couldn't pick up the football on time. Rowe going to fire that thing back in the end zone. Patrick Brown's second touchdown reception today. Brooks going to roll right. Looking downfield. Throws it to Wagner. Makes the catch. Thank goodness. Second down and two from the 17. Bush going to take it to the left side. Trying to make something happen. Instead, he does more harm than good. Brooks going to roll to the right side. He's going to let that thing fly, and he's going to find Wagner. That pass was put on a frozen rope to the target, and I bet my man's hands are hurting after that bullet. Wagner makes the catch downfield. Has the first down at the 39-yard line in FIU territory. Brooks rolls right, throws it. Wagner, have yourself a drive. Another catch and another first down. Second down and 10. Stepping up in the pocket just to get sacked as Ferguson gets to Brian Brooks. So Brooks dropping back again and again. We get sacked. Stewart gets in there for his fourth sack of the season. And we got to get the ball right back to FIU. Wilson is loose. Mark Wilson gets chased down from behind by Jones. But if we don't get a stop on this drive, I mean, I don't know if we're going to have a chance. They throw it. That pass caught. And look at this. And look at this. Somebody come look at this. First down inside. The 10. We cannot buy a stop right now. Rowe hands it off to Noon. Noon trying to get loose, and Simpson is there for the tackle as we head to the fourth quarter now. So our formation got the big boys up there, and the big boys clear lane for Newton like he's royalty. Second down, 10 yards to go. Brooks going to roll right, throws it, and that pass is going to be intercepted by Jones, who's wearing a receiver number because he's a receiver playing free safety out there. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm thinking that's an easy catch. Boy, I thought wrong. Davis, looking for who? Jones. Yeah, he couldn't make the catch and bounds right there, but he sure can catch the football, that's for sure. Davis, looking downfield. That pass will be caught by Thompson, and that will be a chain mover. Davis hands it off to Newton, and Newton going to go nowhere fast. Davis. Throws it to the end zone. Tenth and caught by Thompson. And, yo, we are just, like, slowing them down just to see them score eventually. Monroe gets it to the end zone, and we are in some serious trouble if we weren't already. Okay. 
we're there now. We, we are definitely there now. Time is ticking away, not just on this game, but maybe as the head coach of Grambling State. Time is starting to tick away. Wagner throws that thing. It is tipped by Jones, the receiver, into the hands of Hicks, who is a real DB. And Hicks has this one up inside the 20. Third and goal from the 9. Davis throws that thing. It is set to by Simpson, big Simpson. I see you. We still play tough. We still play hard. We're still trying to at least inspire some people that root for this team. Maybe not a lot, but a few, okay? Glover makes the catch right there. First down. Harris makes the catch right there. Spin move after the catch. That's going to be a first down. So we're marching closer and closer to the red zone. Glover gets dropped just two yards shy of the 20-yard line. Then direct snap to Bush. Bush to the 20, to the 15. Cuts it back at the 10. Has a first down. Now we're inside the 5, and Bush... To the goal line, touchdown, and that is going to do it. 63-21 to 21 is the score. So taking a look at the bowl projections, you're going to see that North Carolina is projected to go to the MPC Bowl to take on Fresno State. And North Carolina right now has three wins. Now, typically in this game, teams play 11 games, so let's give them that fourth win. They're 4-7. and seven. They deserve to go into a bowl game over us if we can beat UAB. And that would make us 6-6. Six and six. I don't know. I'm just saying. But obviously, we have to handle business. We can't be too worried about what other people are doing. Brooks looking downfield. Going to throw this one to the left side. That pass caught by Wagner. And the drive kicks out. And they kicks off in a fabulous way. That pass caught by Richards. We're just shy of the first down. We're going to run it with our quarterback, Brian Brooks, on senior day, showing all these kids that he is the seniorness of the senior class, if that made any sense. Brooks throws it. That pass caught by Matt Harris doing his thing. Second down to go. Give it to Lynn Bush. Touchdown, Gremlin State. And right now we're up seven. Nada. That is going to be Jeff Bryant at quarterback. Throws it into a crowd, and that pass will fall incomplete they run the ball up the gut with anthony sanders and sanders will pick up a decent gain setting up third down a manageable but that pass was not a very manageable one as it sails over everybody so we take back over from the 35 we get dropped in the backfield by jason smith looking downfield is brooks brooks fires that thing caught by jay glover Weaving through traffic inside the 20, sprinting inside the 15, and chased down from behind at the 9. Second down to goal. I believe that's Jason Smith again with a good play for the UAB Blazers. This pass will be caught by Bush. Bush, he's going to get chopped down, and Bush will not get us to the goal line, but he will make the field goal just a little bit easier. So that drive will end with a field goal, and we are now up 10 nada. Sanders trying to get loose and the big back does the big back gets brought down by Pete Williams but we'll have a first down second down to four to give it to number 33 again Anthony Sanders has a first down as they cross in the midfield first down and 10 they give it to him again and it might be one of those games we might have to tighten that chin strap up a couple of times that pass caught by Branch he gets dragged down by Stallings first and 10 from the 32 Bryant fires that thing and that pass will be caught but it won't get them close to the first down. So third down and seven. Jeff Bryant has the football. Throws it to the left side. Caught by Edwards. Move those chains as George Edwards comes through with a first down reception. So after the chains are moving and the Carter has reset to the second, that pass to open up the quarter will fall incomplete. Bryant throws it. Caught by Edwards. Breaking a tackle. And George Edwards is breaking hearts as he scores a touchdown for UAB. Going to fire this thing downfield. Caught by Matt Harris. Matt Harris, he sprints up field with a first down in his back pocket. Now Bush. Won't get out. He won't get out the backfield. We were hoping. We, we, we had high hopes, but it did not work out. And then Brooks, fumble! And Jason Smith will jump on top of that loose pigskin. Jeff Bryant has the football fires, I think, caught by Austin, and that's going to result in a decent game. Gain of seven. Second down three for the 33. They get the ball to Graham, and look at Graham, the fullback. Beast and feast. You do not want to get in his way unless you get paid to tackle or at least have a scholarship to tackle. You know what I'm saying? Pete Williams, though, comes right back with the tipped interception. So our momentum took us out of the end zone is what it is. We're going to weed through traffic, pick up a decent game, trying to get out of the shadow of our own end zone. Bush gets loose. He's punishing would-be tacklers, and we have a first down just like that. From the 13-yard line, Brooks going to slide to the right. Throws a deep. Caught by Matt Harris. Matt Harris. 
Gets this one past the 35. Yard on to the 36 and a fresh set of 10. Brooks looking downfield. He's going to roll to the left side under some pressure. Gets away and then he gets dragged down in the backfield. Second down and 17. Looking downfield and that pass is intercepted by Haynes. So we did not want to throw the ball to Justin Haynes. He gets an interception and Anthony Sanders gets the football in his hands. And they get up past the 30 yard line with a gain of seven. On the 28 yard line now, Bryant has the football, gonna slide to the right, throws that thing, and that pass will fall incomplete. Third down and three from the 28 yard line, Sanders goes nowhere as Lawson gets in there for the tackle, and he is a senior as well on senior day. Everybody got the flowers, gave it to the mamas, girlfriends, aunties, cousins, whoever it may be. Brooks fires, I think, Matt Harris. He has been balling all the video long. Second down to four. Give that thing to Bush. Bush breaks a tackle. Bush gets dragged down at the first down marker. We're over three. Let's change that today. Let's change it right now. And we change it right now. So now Brooks and roll right. Has a man open. And we throw it to the wrong guy. Have you ever hit the wrong button in your life? You have. Me too. Just right there. You've seen it in not 4K, but like 1080p. Looking downfield. Bryant, he fires that thing to the right side. Caught by Sanders, but he picks up just two yards. He was left wide open. But the sideline gets credited with the tackle. That pass thrown deep. In and out of the hands of the would-be receiver. And that's what I like to see as we take over. Bush, he runs the football, cuts it back, and he gets out of bounds. Great execution on that run play. Run it again. And we're going to jump over some tacklers. And we pick up another solid game. But this time we did not stop the clock, which is A-OK. -okay. We still got some timeouts. Going to fire that thing to Richards, who makes the catch. And that will be a first down. So 20 seconds to work with. With third down looking. And with third down shopping for a first down. That pass caught by Richards. Move those chains. 13 seconds to work with. Brooks dropping back. Rolling right, looking for Miller, who makes the catch down to the 10 yard line and finally dragged down at the seven. We burn our last timeout, our second to last timeout, with about a second left on the clock. So, we score a field goal in the first half. They get the football to start the second half, and our defense needs to ring, 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 answer the call. Sanders up the gut, breaking tackles and breaking hearts as he picks up a first down. Now they're going to run the ball. No, they fake it to McGee. Jeff Bryant throws this one deep. Has a man open. It's going to be caught by George Edwards. His second touchdown reception today. Now Bush to the 10. Bush to the 20. And Bush gets dropped at the 22-yard line. So from the 22, get the ball to number 23. And Lynn Bush fighting for every inch. Going to get brought down at the pickup of seven. Second down and nine. Heaving it downfield. Caught by Richards. We cross midfield. And we're back in UAB territory. Brooks throws this one to the left side. Caught by Matt Harris. And Matt Harris will pick up six. Second down and four. Brooks going to roll to the right side. Has a lane to get through. He gets through it. To the 30. To the 25. And to the 20-yard line. Out of bounds at the 19. Brooks going to roll to the left side. Looking for Wagner. Who makes the... Can't make the catch. He does not make the catch. He fails at catching the football. Brooks... Throws it to the left side. That pass will also fall a little bit incomplete. Third down. We're looking at an incompletion again. So we got to settle for another field goal. The kick is up and the kick is good. So three field goals kicked. Three field goals made. But we're down by one point. Anthony Sanders gets to, gets to carry. But he carries that football nowhere fast. It's a gain of four. And Lawson's there to bring him down. Jeff Bryant going to trip over Weber. And that's going to be third down and nine. They fake it. Bryant rolls right. Throws it. Caught by Austin. And Austin is not going to pick up a first down. So we force a three and out. Brooks going to roll right. Throws it. Intercepted. McPhee then got busy. On that one, Mike McPhee with the interception gives the team the football and they like to give gifts right back. Stallings, loose, Stallings coming through with another opportunity to show why he's a good receiver turned DB. Because we needed to do it. Yes sir, we did. There goes Bush, up the right sideline, first down. Brooks rolls left, throws it deep downfield, caught by Richards, brought down as, short, as soon as the football got there. And then Brooks will do the rest using his feet. Yes, he uses his feet, so we will go for two and get that thing. 24 to 17 is the score. Weber all up in your backfield, blowing things up like Grandpa on the toilet, blowing things up after a hot burrito. Brooks looking downfield. That pass will be caught by Glover, and Glover will work his way upfield for a first down. For the 37 now, we're going to pitch that thing to Bush. He gets loose, and he's going to get upfield for a first down. 
So to start the fourth quarter now, we have the football and we have aspirations to win this football game, our last game of the season possibly, at least of the regular season. Let's see what we can do though. That pass will be caught by Austin and that is going to be a gain of four. Out of the gun, Jeff Bryant throws a strike to Rice, brought down by Lawson who has his fourth tackle of the game. Bryant gonna keep it. Lawson, great play right there. Forces a bad pitch, which is going to be ruled a fumble and triplet. Jumps on top of it. Brooks has a first down in this. Brooks using his feet to get out of bounds and have a first down for the squad. Second down and 15. Brooks, he's going to cut it back on him and he's loose. Look at Brooks. Don't hit that silent. Hit the lane and get through that thing. Brooks going to roll to the left side. Left tackle again. Still needs some help out there. But Barbarto does not need any kind of help catching the football. Now Brooks, he's going to roll right, pitch it right, run it right, fumble it right into the hands of the defenders. Not what we were trying to do. Our sixth turnover today has been a turnover fest in this last game of the season. That pass will be caught by Sanders. And Anthony Sanders works his way upfield. Up to the 27-yard line. Anthony Sanders gets to carry. That's going to be a gain of around 8 from the 35. They fake it to him again. Bryant has the football throws at that pass. Caught by Rice. And that will be a first down. Second down and 6. Sanders gets to carry. He's going to get loose and have a first down. So now the defense is starting to get tired. It's the fourth quarter. They've been running with this big back all game long. And it's starting to wear us down a little bit. They pick up a first down. But now it's third down and eight. They're going to throw this one towards the end zone. It's caught by Big Todd. Big Todd coming through. Marty Todd with his touchdown reception. And that is going to tie this football game up at 24 all. So Brooks going to roll left. Has a man open downfield. That's Matt Harris who makes the catch. And that's going to result in a chain mover from the 49-yard line. The protection wasn't great, but it was good enough to give us some time to find Jay Glover for a first down. Brooks going to weed through traffic, breaking ankles, and he's going to break a couple of hearts as he picks up a first down. We give it to Bush. He breaks tackles and breaks hearts. He's inside the 10. He's down to the 5-yard line. 19 seconds on the clock. Going to let the clock run just a little bit. Going to run the option just a little bit. Pitch that thing just a little bit and score a little bit of a touchdown. 31 to 24. Heisman hopeful. Just joking. I don't know why he did that, but hey, he was feeling frisky. You feel me? Bryant looking downfield, letting this thing fly, and Jeff Bryant's pass will be caught by George Edwards, but time is not on your side. And this one is over, and so is the season. We had a couple of bye weeks, no conference championship game for us, but we do got a trophy. The best quarterback goes to Brian Brooks. So despite what you may see, say, we developed one of the better quarterbacks in any of our dynasties as far as throwing the football. The rushing numbers were decent as well. We've had a bunch of rushing quarterbacks in our dynasty. And I don't mean rushing, but, you know, like rushing. Not like, you know, the country, but, you know, running quarterbacks. Yeah. But anyways, man, we have been officially let go. Despite the fact that we developed Brian Brooks as one of the better passing quarterbacks, it does not save our job. We went 9-27 and in three years, which is not good. Which is not good. And if they can fire Doc Rivers with the record he had, you know what I'm saying, making him a scapegoat, you know that we could get fired going 9-27 and in three years. We had one game versus a top 25 team. We did not win that. Two games versus, I believe it was Southern. We won those two games. But again, just not enough winning. We won three games in our first two years, six here. And it just was not good enough to keep our job. So this series is over. This series is complete. It did not go the way that I planned it. I mean, when you have 22 recruiting points to use in back-to-back -back season, it's going to be pretty hard to put a team together. But we put a team together. And if we had more time, I do think that this team would be bowl ready next year, especially with two four-star quarterbacks coming to town that we could pick from to be our starter. I think that this... This team could have won a natty in a few years. Not next year, but in a few years. Probably could have got the job done. But anyways, that is going to do it. Hugh Jackson, after this coaching firing, he will retire. I'm about here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.